Welcome dear friends to this video lecture on the Buddhism philosophy and its educational implications. Buddhism is one of the most remarkable developments of Indian thought. Buddhism is founded on the rejection of certain orthodox Hindu philosophical concepts. It has many philosophical views with the Hinduism such as a belief in karma your cause and effect relationship between all that has been done and all that will be done, that is karma. Events that occur in life are held to be direct results of previous events in life. The ultimate goal for both Hinduism as well as Buddhism is to eliminate karma, both good and, good and bad, end the cycle of rebirth and suffering and attain freedom, that is moksha or nirvana. Buddhist education system dates back to 200 BC to 200 AD. It was founded by Lord Gautam Buddha. Gautam Buddha was primarily an ethical teacher and a reformer and not a philosopher. He was concerned mainly with the problems of life. He avoided the discussion of metaphysical questions because they are ethically useless and intellectually uncertain. He always discussed the most important questions of suffering, its cessation and the path leading to its cessation. Buddha's enlightenment, which he tried to share with all his fellow human beings, has come to be known as the Four Noble Truths. What are the Four Noble Truths? They are there is suffering, there is cause of suffering, there is end to suffering, there is cessation of suffering, there is a way to cessation of suffering, end to suffering. The Buddhist philosophy of life to get nirvana from suffering is based on the following eight principles. Right faith, samyak tristi. Right resolve, samyak sankalpa. Right speech, samyak vakya. Right action. Right living, samyak ajiva. Right thought, samyak smriti. Right concentration, samyak samadhi. Right effort, samyak vyayama. What are the aims of education according to Buddhist philosophy? The Buddhist educational aims were comprehensive based on knowledge, social development, vocational development, religious development, character development. What are the aims to follow the moral values of Buddhist religion? To adopt a good contact and ahimsa, that is non-violence. To achieve the final goal of nirvana, to propagate Buddhism. Buddhist education is cosmopolitan. Buddhist education was free from communal narrowness. There was no favoritism on the basis of caste creed in the centers. Positive, positive education. Buddhist philosophy is positivistic and has a careful logical systematization of ideas. And also it was ethical, it is, it is ethical. The eightfold path to nirvana makes a universal appeal to all human beings. It is democratic. Buddhist education is democratic as it believed in freedom of inquiry. Democratic and republican procedures were followed while running the educational institutions. Then the development of good contact. The entire techniques of Buddhism provide directions to develop good contact and it is also the essence of a sound system of education. This is one of the most important educational implications of Buddhism philosophy. Also, its belief in karma lays stress on the necessity to be constantly on the vigil to maintain one's contact in the present life. Then, the Buddha Bhikkhu, the monk, took the vows of chastity and of poverty. That was a moral principle. Character was the basis of moral discipline. Then there was an emphasis on manual skills. Training of manual skills like spinning and weaving was emphasized to enable men to earn for their living. Pragmatic, 
Buddhism education was pragmatic. It is pragmatic. Everything is in a state of flux as it is only momentary. So what is helpful, what is useful, take it. That is the idea. Change is the rule of the universe. It does not believe in the absolutism. It is witnessed in the present era of globalization. Methods of teaching. The methods of uh, instruction was oral. Preaching, repetition, exposition, discussion and debates were all used. Buddhist council organized seminars to discuss the major issues at length. Learned conferences, meditation sessions, educational tools were conducted. Value education and character development, they gave a lot of importance to it. To be a moral being, one must follow the noble path, the eightfold path as preached in Buddhism. It provides a guidance for moral education and peace. The entire techniques of Buddhism provides directions to develop good contact, which is also the essence of sound system of education. They organized and started even the universities. Universities established during this period are still serving as a guiding force for all the universities in educational centers. The organization of Nalanda and Vallabhi University was advanced that it continues to influence the organization and structure of the universities till present day. The system of determining a minimum age for higher education, providing a set of rules and taking a test for admission or even today guiding the educational structure. Education becomes a social institution because of this Buddhism philosophy of education. Education as a social institution got its existence as a result of Buddhist system of education. It imparts education in practical subjects. An important contribution of this period is the imparting of education in various practical subjects, a tradition which has come down to the present day also. Collective teaching methodology. It was in this period that the method of collective teaching and the presence of numerous teachers in single institutions was evolved. In fact, mass education was prevalent in Buddhism, that is the that is the eye opener in the modern times of education. Thank you very much, dear friends. God bless you abundantly. Let us meet in other video.